Good evening, and welcome back to Timberborn, where things are going really, really well. Like, really, really well. Uh, this changed to the distribution centres, the, the posts, where we are now sending everything everywhere. So this one sends to every single district, and this one sends to every single district. It's working. It's working really well. The only thing you kind of have to 100% make sure that you have is somewhere for the district the dropper points to empty to if they fill up obviously they can't accept any more goods and uh, district one starts running out of water again and it's because there was a hundred planks a hundred gears here so i built a a uh, warehouse here which is now storing the gears and uh, planks that we had they've used some of them uh so that's there uh, it's got some bread in it as well yeah it's got everything the only thing i've unticked are the stuff it's carried uh, gathering so berries chestnuts and dandelions there's some in here but i've unticked them so that this doesn't fill up with these gathering all things so so that's what i need to do everywhere i think um figure out how to empty somebody out here like you've you've got everything there and uh you should just be unticked with uh don't make good potatoes because that's uh good potatoes or standard potatoes actually now i think about it you probably shouldn't store potatoes either um uh, actually no you can store potatoes because we're only, only 10 and 100 but don't do grilled potatoes because you might end up filling up the grilled potatoes uh, because they'll just keep making them until they fill this up 100% and then this can't empty anything any of its uh, carrots and things so it a back up stuff here we are not doing that and you can see here this is practically full which is a problem which is a problem so we need to we need to deal with that and to deal with that is quite easy we just literally put in a storage large warehouse and we tell this large warehouse that you can uh, design none uh, we're gonna leave everything turned on apart from the things it's making so it is making wheat flour and it will be making cattail flour as well so don't do that and don't do that but you can store everything else in here and that means that all the goods in here will get moved out to here by the people in the, um, in the district center same for this one do the same for this one here uh, you need the same thing, so you're going to have to have a large storage. You've got one large storage there, but what about a second large storage? And that's purely for storing the actual things we want. So that's bread, cattail crackers, a flour, and flour is being stored here, so they've always got some place to go. So you don't want to store uh, cattail crackers and bread. Is that the only thing? I feel like they can make more than that. Oh, and maple pastry maple pastry as well oh, but you should store maple pastries yeah yeah the numbers don't need to actually be desired all there so yeah you, you should store maple pastries as well and uh, maple pastries are made with uh wheat flour so that's fine you build that and then you can empty this into here uh, your desire should be zero um it do doesn't matter if they, they have a desire they want the they they want to empty these I've noticed that even if this is set to zero, they want to keep these empty, like a, a priority for them on it. But speaking of priorities, you can prioritise these to say, hey, haulers should do this first, if you have haulers. And haulers are definitely something I feel every district should have. Every district should have them, and we should probably be prioritising these buildings. Um, bom, bom. So you, the haulers, want to empty this first. All the goods. Uh, again, I don't think you have anywhere that you can store just generic stuff. No, I don't think you do. We need to do that. This one, this one is... Oh, grilled potatoes. Okay. Yeah, that's not really going to work for us, is it? We don't have... I mean, I suppose I could untick carrots. I could say, uh, let's pause it. Let's uh, allow none and zero. And we'll untick carrots. The only thing you're making here is carrots. So we'll say you can store whatever in here. It's only 200, but that should be okay. That should be okay. It doesn't look like we're getting a great deal. 10 of this, 10 of that. Bread. We might get some other things down here. Um, like grilled potatoes. But I think we'll be okay. We'll, we'll leave that. If it doesn't work, then we'll switch over to a larger warehouse in the future. So, um, we've not got enough potatoes, we need to do something about that. We need more potatoes. Uh, I think I might plant some more potatoes now. 
it looks as if these farms are all keeping up, so I might just do something like this. Uh, how big was this? How, how big was this? It is... this kind of entirely potatoes hmm. yeah I think we'll make it entirely potatoes and we'll run the road down here there okay. I don't know whether that's gonna that won't give this any more range this has got a limited range and it's not based on the path at all so that make it, we can do that and then maybe put another farm on the end here perhaps or here or whatever I don't know but we'll uh We'll potatoize up all this area here, but not the other side of the uh, road. Yeah. And now you've got some things to plant as well. Okay, just some more, some more potatoes to uh, to add to stock. So they've got more to do. So you're set to harvesting. You're harvesting. Uh, you're harvesting. You're harvesting. Uh, you're planting. You're planting. You're harvesting. Harvesting. So the planters in the center can't actually reach out that far so the edges may not be done so much but that's okay that's okay that's fine that's fine, that's fine. That's fine. okay uh you've got a distribution center but you don't have anywhere for you to put things you see that this is starting to fill up so we need to build a warehouse for this here which is kind of awkward if i'm honest it's kind of awkward Due to the size of this place, we haven't really left space to put things in. I mean, I could have put a warehouse here where the hauling post is. That would have fit there. We could also put it up here. Now we've changed the way the hauling post works. I don't think we're going to need as many distribution posts. Sorry, I don't think we're going to need as many. So maybe we'll just put it on the end. We'll just, we'll just put it here. This. And uh, this will store everything because it can't store water. So, uh, desired none. Allowed all, desired none. Okay. And then you'll empty that out because you are prioritized. You don't have anywhere, um, but you do need a generic building again. So let's do this large warehouse. We'll put it. Uh, yeah, we'll put it there. there we go. And that can store everything. Because, again, logs cannot be stored inside a building anyway. So, yep, you can do that. Desired none. Bob. And we also want to haul this up here because you don't have one, and we definitely want that. Which means we're going to have to send some more beavers up here. Which is fine. We're going to have five unemployed beavers. Uh, we can turn that back down. Which gives us six unemployed beavers. Uh, yeah, I think we'll go with that. Okay. Uh, let's, let's also build a hauling post. Let's build a hauling post. Uh, go there. That's the point. And we'll add ten workers to it. And... Uh, I can't remember what priorities and things we did with it. What did I do with this one? It's the lowest priority. So we'll make it the lowest priority. Uh, you the same, aren't you? Yeah, you're the lowest priority. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're still building this. You need... Interesting. Where's... Where's the builder? Where's the builder? Where are you? What are you doing? Why are you building this one? Build your own one. <laughs> Interesting. He's he's building the one next door. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. You, you, it'll get built. It'll get built. That's fine. Uh, you've got a hauler. That should be the nice priority. Um, you should prioritise this building. We have an MP for that, so that's fine. That should be desired zero, so that's fine. Um, you need holders and things in here, but right now we'll leave it for the moment. You've actually got three unemployed workers, so I might as well have you do working. 
do do building so that's fine okay so with that being done there these these don't think so you've got bread and gears in your one you've got bread and planks in that you're only storing carrots and i think grilled potatoes yeah yeah i do we change these up to be the large ones and then say hey you can store whatever in them other than planks and whatever other than gears so we're going to do that which does mean we are going to actually um Remove all their food, which is probably not a good thing. Maybe I should build the other storage first. Let's build. Let's build the other the warehouses first, shall we? Um. So I put that one down there. This is going to be desired none, and you don't want to store gear because that's what you're making. And you're going to be the same. I'm going to get rid of this storage, this uh, distribution post because I don't think we need it. I don't actually think we need it. So, bump, put that down there. You're none, and you're going to be don't store planks, so you can store everything else. Okay, and then we want to empty this storage and empty this storage. Okay, so with that being done, and now we have, we don't have to worry about these being uh, filling up anywhere. We can work on our golems. So I'll run the power line down here. The power line's come down the side and it's connected to here now, so we can go wherever we want with it. I've got this little. Uh, outside area uh, is the best way to describe it this uh, line here the idea was going to be um, that we run the path here and here get rid of that get rid of the path in the center and then when the beavers come out they got to come up around back in again to go under the path and then we could run the path further down I don't think this is this, this does not need power it may need a little bit of power because if we have golems we would need to have charging stations that may need a little bit of power but we can always do that we can always figure that out that's not a problem. We have power access to here. Um, and this one's going to need power, but I didn't want to run it along because we might just be able to tap into it on the side and then just build all the buildings next to each other because that's completely valid. So let's have a look see here. We've got 16,000 science. Let's unlock our science. So we need the golden factory. Boom. We need the golden assembler. Boom. Uh, and we'll get some charging stations because we're going to put them in here first anyway. So the parts factory, um, you need three of them. You need three of them in order to make one golem. And that's because they can only have a single recipe each. So, we need three. Now, you can build this in like a cube. Uh, but there is something important about these buildings. Uh, you see, if you look, if I bring the camera down, on the sides, you can see there's a big cog. On the front, uh, it's got a central piece with a window. And the other side is a big cog, and the back is all flat. Now, you can transfer power into these anywhere on the bottom floor other than the front door and on the second floor only on the back i'm not sure about the actual front not entirely sure about that let's give that a quick try pause the game put that here do this here oh you can you can connect to the front as well okay so you can connect to the very front center piece as well that's good that means you can transfer power over roads with it that's that's really good that's really really good actually that's going to work fantastically for us so what we're going to do um, and you've got to bear that in mind because if you build them, uh, if I built them this way, I can't connect the power into the sides at the top. I'd have to bring it down. But what I want to actually do is I want to do this. I want to put one there. I want to put one here. I want to put one here, like that, and run a path up in between them. I'm not going to have any storage for these because I don't want to store... Uh, the parts the parts can store inside the buildings and the reason i don't want to store the parts is because this will make a chassis and it'll make a chassis in that's over here see 18 hours this will make the heads and it says there it makes a head in 18 hours and this will make the limbs i'm doing the limbs here because the assembly is going to be opposite here, um in uh 4.5 hours which means it makes four in 18 hours and the golem assembler takes 36 hours to make one and requires one four and one so these three buildings running at full speed can support two assemblers running at full speed the assemblers are lower they can only have power connected to the, to the bottom of them so that's why i wanted this and i can connect it to that side there Boom. and then i put one next door to it Boom. and there we go that will work that will work beautifully now I could potentially put a building in the center and say, hey, would you store bits and pieces here? But if you do, 
it will fill up with limbs because you make four limbs at the same time you make one chassis and it will just fill up with limbs and it will go terribly wrong so it's just best i feel to leave it here so they you they fill their internal storage up and it's not working i'm actually only going to make one assembler one assembler because that should be about 25 golems if the mathematics are correct and we can extend that with we can always build another one and then build some more around it and then build another one and so on and so forth you could also put the assemblers on top of these buildings and the build staircase going up that's not really worth doing if i'm honest it's not i mean you can do it uh, but you can also access the top of these buildings for things so we could put um uh, nice uh, uh you could put rooftop terraces up here or um anything you can put anything up up there if you want to so what else do we need here well we need the standard things as well uh we're gonna need water um which i'm gonna put there behind the building uh water can transfer power through as well but only from the back to the side so that's gonna, that's gonna stop the power being transferred this way that's fine we'll put, transfer the power up that way that's not a problem uh we do want to have some charges as well I need to remember that but i can kind of put the charges behind here Oh no, because the gate's there. Uh, we'll move the gate up. Oh, that's going to interfere with this. Because if this extends out. Ah, okay, we don't want to build it there. We don't want to build it there. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, boom. Here. Here's where I want to build it. So I did want to extend the power along. So don't do that. Don't do that. That's for the... This This is for this district. Okay, and this district will clear out these and have this one here. I don't think it'll ever need to extend down this far, but I want to leave space for it, so... Here is where we're going to do the power, which means I do, in fact, want to run the power along here. Which is going to be interesting. So let's connect. Um, I'm going to T-junction so we have the option to expand later. We run the power out to there. Okay, and then... I suppose we could do three this side and like two the other if we wanted to. So, so how would we do it? How would we do it? So you you are all separate up. If I delete that path there, delete this one here, and connect the road this way and that way, which also means removing that and that path there there we go but now that means that this district comes up to here and stops and this district comes down to here and doesn't come down to here ah because that's not part of you so you're that's part of this district ah okay okay so that's part of this district into here and you are part of this district district into here and you are part of this here i'm able to remove them to let this build first because we need to send some goods over to it but i kind of think we need to just send goods over because we're making metal as well and this is part of district one this should be its own district as well which we will do again we'd have to run the path maybe out and along here and move the path underneath it but that'd be power coming along here so this is where it's all going to be created so we'll create it this side and we'll do storage things that side although i kind of wouldn't mind doing it both sides Now we can. So what if we were to put in a block uh, there, there, and there. We then put in a large warehouse on this side. Put on. And then we put in the assemblers. And we put two of them because we can. Like that. Like that. There we go. Like that. And we have our drop-off point. We have our district center up here, and I keep them all right next to each other so they can transfer power. Although we could move it out by one, and uh, then we can do bridges over if we need to get behind. I think that's a better idea. Plus, we have the main power line through here. Um, and what we can do is we can remove that one and connect it to via a cross there. And that will power all these 
because it's connected to this center one, and all of these because it's connected to this barn, which is connected to all of them. Uh, sorry, warehouse, I should say. And then all we need to do is come down in here and go. We are not storing any of the golden parts. We'll store everything else. No golden parts. Okay. Okay. So that's good there. Um, we want a hauling post, don't we? We could put that this side, like this. We're gonna need some houses. We'll put them behind the holders post. I'm not sure exactly how many workers are gonna be needed here. And then we, if we need to extend this, we can do it on the other side. Do even more. Be fantastic. There's all the food. That's fine. We can get up on top of these if we want to do anything on top of these, which is fine. We need water. Must remember the water storage. Uh, water can just literally go opposite there. Like that. And if we need to transfer power, we can just raise this road up here, transfer power into the building, through out the other side as well, and do the same on that side. Although, if we need power, it can run down the central column without any huge issues at all. Um, so I think that would be fine for that. I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Yeah. Oh, and no, we don't need a distribution post. We don't need inputs. We don't need outputs here. Yeah, we don't need that. We don't need outputs because we're not outputting anything. Our output is actually going to be golems. So when we go migrate population, when we get a golem, we'll get a new category in here with golem. So I could say down here, um, we want a minimum of. Uh, so many golems we want a minimum of say however many golems we need to work in these places i cannot remember uh, but we'll figure the numbers out once things are built uh, and then all the rest of the golems we could send off to everyone else and everywhere else could go hey i want a minimum of four golems at, to start with and they're going to go into the distribution pack the distribution centers sorry the yeah, district centers mix it up all my words they're going to go in there and so we're going to get uh the town centers the district centers are going to be four golems because they work 24 hours a day, they can move things, they can build things, they're, they're generally just helpful. They do all the things you need them to do. Then, once that's happened, we will then go with uh, hauling posts afterwards, which means we'll up them to 14 in each place. And then once that's done, we will go with uh, distribution posts as golems as well. So we'll up it to 24. And maybe some more for these ones that have two. Uh, but I don't think we need to. Once we get to 24, we could actually probably stop one of these posts and just work on one post because it works 24 hours a day it's always going instead of instead of losing eight hours of the day the golems still work still do their thing so and the hauling post being golems as well means that they will constantly fill things up even at night time so overall i think it's going to be a better way of doing things it's going to be better for it i am going to put another farm up here i'm just looking at it and i'm going yeah no you, you need to be a farm up there there you go how many people do you have today? You have five. Yes, yeah, so that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that's the plan. Unpause that. Let this go. Can anyone build these? Well, you can. Um, some. You can't build anything, even though we could technically get you to build it by running the path along. Uh, and you can't build anything, so that's that's okay. I don't know if any of these need logs. I think they do. Some of these need logs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the path along here and stop there. Um, and then you can help put all your... You, you can basically build this. This this district centre, the logs can basically build everything here that's required that doesn't need metal. Because you will get gears come in, you'll get planks come in, you'll get everything needed. So that will be built. We'll design that to zero. Uh, all the houses will be built. The water tank will be built. The hauling post to be built ready for people to move in and then all we need to do is go through each and every one of these and add our tenth and final route to this place like so okay. and you okay. awesome okay so that's what i'm gonna do and then we're gonna wait for that to build and we'll come back next time and we'll uh Golems assemble.
So thank you very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this one. I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, as always, have fun.